being with Abraham for 15 years and, and, and absolutely believing in what you do and, and struggling with this one piece. I've, I've got it in all the other areas, but in this one Well, one it's fine-tuning, and what yeah. happens is, without even knowing it, you were trained into your thoughts and beliefs about money by people not in the vortex. I know. You learned everything you know yeah. about economy and about abundance from people not in the vortex who were struggling and who were irritated by those who weren't. In other words, look at what's going on. Just listen a little bit to the national or even global dialogue about uh, about money and the demonizing of people who have it from people who want it. They don't even get it. That as long as they stand there demonizing prosperity and at the same time wanting it, do you understand the tug of war people have themselves in? Life has caused them to want something that they are demonizing if it were ever to come. It's a really interesting thing. It's really a wonderful thing because it's throwing so much abundance and it, it doesn't take too much easing up on your, on your habits of thought before abundance starts to flow to you. In other words, when, when this much abundance is flowing and you do something radically different, which is relax your vibration, more will come to you and it will come to you so rapidly that it will be astonishing, you see. I see that. There are people saying, oh, fast money, fast money must be bad money, or fast money must be wrong money. And we say, fast money is you've pulled the rubber band back, 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 and now you've let go of the resistance. And now, when you've been asking for something for a long time and you stop doing that thing you do that doesn't let it come, it comes, and it comes fast, you see. Beautiful. Yeah.